It's time to get your risk on. Hello everybody, thanks for watching my video. My name is Digitalic, and I am a Grandmaster Ranked Online Risk Player, and for you today, we're back with Gloria Hole from the Land of Poles. We're gonna play another game, Classic Fixed. I'm the host this time. It's a six-player game with blizzards, so let's see how it goes. All right. Let's get comfortable here. Looks like I'm the purple player in my in the third position. My least favorite position to start in, and it looks like I've got a god spawn, a god spawn for uh, Africa. Hopefully, green doesn't punch my three. Hey, green wants Europe. That makes sense. Uh, so it's blizzards. Nothing too critical. Uh, nothing that chokes out the map or anything like that. Okay, so obviously I'm gonna go for that African start. Where does red go? Red probably goes North America. I hate to say it blue, but I'm probably going to hit your two so I can get those troops out of South America as quickly as I can. All right. So let's do that. Let's hit this too. Sorry, blue. This will also open up a road for red to get out. Great dice. Love it. Gotta absolutely love when you get good dice on a two. Perfect. So then we'll just move out of red's way. So red can go in either direction. They can go up or they can go left. All right, so settings for today's game are world domination, classic map, auto setup, 60 second turn timer, expert automated bots. We're not starting with any today because everyone ready it up. Fixed cards, balance blitz dice, no rank restrictions. And, uh, oh, alliances are off. I meant to have alliances on. My bad. Okay, so alliances fog and portals are off, but blizzards are on. In position one, we've got the green player. Oh, and they just rolled a three of mine. Of Japan. Wow. Okay. Oh, in the first position, we've got the green player from the United Kingdom. We've got Norbert Mander. Red's going to head into South America. Nice. In position two, we've got the pink player, Victoriano the Cruel from USA. I'm in the third position with my uh, Anything Goes account currently ranked as a Grandmaster. In the fourth position, we've got the blue player, General Shimamura from Australia. In the fifth position, we've got the red player, we've got Dell from France. And in the sixth position, we've got the yellow player, General Hurricane. Uh, and they're from USA. Okay. Ooh, what do we got brewing here in Australia? That looks juicy. So I can probably spend that four in Greenland. Can we potentially have three people fighting for Australia here? Pink, yellow, and blue. This could be epic. So I don't think I need to do anything about that. Oh, but green probably wants that four out of my out of its way. Okay, and pink's going back into Australia, into Europe. That's it. Okay, so everything on my eight in Africa. Let's actually, let's do this. Let's spend this four and then pass my turn. Awesome. Oh, okay. Blue's a beginner. They just roll a six stack of pinks. Now they're going to be weak. That's not how you fight for Australia. Whether even you should even fight for Australia at all. Okay. So, we need to guess on blue, and I'm going to say that they're a beginner. Let me guess on pink. Not sure yet. 
uh, green, red, and yellow. Okay. It looks like red's either going for North America or South America. Probably South America, it looks like. Okay, I need an artillery for lucky set on three. <clears throat> so yeah, green's gonna punch into it. Yeah, so green's definitely on the Europe plan. That's cool. I'm still hurting for troops here at 18. I don't love it. I really hope I get that set on three. That'll cement uh, me not dying. <laughs> Okay, pink stuck in draft. Maybe they bought their botting out uh, because of what blue did to them in Australia. Now, this is a very important thing. I have to say, oh, no, maybe they're here. And they, okay, pink's a beginner. Their troops are all over the place. They don't seem to really have a plan. That makes sense. Okay, so everything on Africa. Actually, no, let's do it like this. Let's put two on the Congo. We'll put one there just in case we fail this 3v1 in North America. So we'll roll the 3v1. We don't fail it. But yeah, just in case we failed it, what I could do is I could actually hit the four and then bring the four in. Okay, so we continue. So I don't get the artillery, so I'm going to be holding at least four cards. Okay, so it looks like blue is going to continue their, their quest for Australia. And pink is, is jamming yellow up. Yeah, so blue's got a really... Okay, that was good. Yeah, four into the five. Yeah, blue's got a really good plan for Australia here. Unless, of course, pink has a trade on three and it goes smashy, smashy. Okay, so red. Oh, red rolls the three. Pink's three in South America. Oh, terrible rolls for red. Oh, my God. That was really bad. <laughs> okay, yellow is going to fight. Oh no, yellow wants out and they're telling pink to go for yourself. And they're gonna, are they gonna kill pink? I think you killed pink at this point. You're gonna hit them that hard. Yeah, hit eight on the three. Now use your other eight to finish them off. Yeah, and it looks like looks like uh, looks like yellow's got it, and that should get them a trade in. I wonder what they're gonna do with that. Okay, looks like they're challenging green for Europe. Interesting. Okay, cool. Let's see if green fights them. No, they don't go anywhere. So what I'm going to do here, because this board is kind of, it looks like it could be juicy, like there could, could be some really killable people here, especially maybe if blue goes ham on yellow, but doesn't maybe they're not going to. I'm not going to roll the two in North America. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put everything here in the Congo, but then I'm going to tack up and put my troops in, uh, is that North Africa? No, that's uh, Egypt, of course, yeah. Because what that's going to do is going to combine my armies in Africa, but it's also going to give me the mobility that I can attack in either direction. Maybe red doesn't set in, right? 
I don't have a set on four. <laughs> oh boy. That is not good. Not good at all. Okay, so blue finishes Australia. It looks like they traded as well. So blue's safe. Let's see if red trades. Well, even if red doesn't trade, I can't kill them because I don't have a set. See what yellow does. Where do they go? Are they going to go to North America? They are. Okay, I was going to put more troops in North America to make it harder to kill me. But I think I'm going to just have to put them all in Africa and take the risk that I don't get dead. looking super strong now oh and they cut off yellow's supply line to to north america but yellow can create a new one through the kamchatka side so that's not a big deal so i think if i'm yellow i'm not i'm i'm just putting a troop here rest on here and i'm just going into kamchatka and then starting to start drawing okay so let's put everything here Let's roll this two and hope we get it. We don't. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to finish Africa because I don't want to open up red stack and make it easier for them to kill me. I'm just going to get a take in the middle, middle East. And then roll back. And then roll back into um, Africa because I do not want to open up the seven. All right, blue punches out into Kamchatka, sorry, into Siam. Holding five cards is unfortunate in this stage of the game. Let's see, did I even get a good trade? No, I didn't even get that great of a trade. At least I didn't get a dude trade, so... Okay, so I think that makes me safe, actually. Yeah. Oh, so red, oh, yellow's gonna roll right in, but now you start, start six comes in first, yep. So bring the six in. Good, actually, so now um, green can't kill me. Even, uh, you know, it would be, a, even it would be a tough kill for green to kill me. All right, so I will set in this turn, and I will take my continent. I will probably move off of Green's border to try and create some sort of level of trust with them. As well as Red. But now I can safely open up Red's army. Let's move down into East Africa. If anyone wants to break me, they can break me. I'm not worried about being there. Oh, what's blue doing? Why are they hitting so much of yellow? That was weird. And now what's what what's with that split? That doesn't make any sense. Um, putting putting all your troops onto green's border. I, I don't like that either. If 
I'm red. I'm reinforcing this too. Because yellow is going to make it hard for you to get cards soon in North America. Because you know yellow is coming in. Yellow has five cards. To take off blue and then move back into North America. So they're not ready to take North America. Why did they split? Mm, okay. So I think yellow is an intermediate. Okay, green shores up their borders. Okay, and they get a card and pass, and they let me hold Africa. Fantastic. I do have a follow-up trade, too. It's a dude trade. Yeah, let's see what we get on our next one. It's not trade yet. So let's just take a card and pass and see which way the wind blows. Okay. All right, that's good. I got a wild card. Now, the question is, is it safe to hold five cards on this board? I think it is. You know, my luck, I could get another dude here and then it's all for naught, right? That just made it a little bit less safe. Because blue has four cards, most likely have a trade. I'll probably lose my position in North America, that one there. I guess that makes my decision for me. Do I retain... Looks like I'm not going to. Looks like I'm going to lose it right now. Oh, maybe not. Okay, if if it if yellow lets that perp, my 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 stack remain there, my stack, my one stack. <laughs> if I retain that position in North America, because blue goes before yellow and red, next turn, so they can't, it won't, it will be be there for blue's turn. Okay, I don't know what that was about. That just doesn't make sense. Maybe yellow's not even intermediate. Maybe yellow's also a beginner. I do retain that position. So I'm comfortable. Because blue goes right after me, and that make it really hard for them to kill me. I'm comfortable holding five cards. Green, green also has five cards. I don't think they'll be able to kill me. But let's do it. Let's take the risk. It's the name of the game. So we'll just get a card. And we don't get the dude, so I get to convert my dude trade into a 10 trade with a plus two North Africa. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So as long as I don't die, which I don't think I will. Yeah, if I lost this position here in Quebec, I almost certainly um, would have taken the do trade. Okay, Blue's getting a card in India and they're doing a split? Okay. Okay, so Blue's main army is now buried. So I think... The better move for blue right here is actually to get takes up here and at least leave your stack mobility to go this way. Makes I think it's a more powerful way of playing the Australia position rather than doing the full turtle with a locked stack. Hmm. Okay, so red's spending a lot of time in draft. What is that about? It looks like they're here. Okay, that's good. If I was red, I would probably put more... I think red's a beginner as well. I'm going to go with beginner for red. Green intermediate.
and yellow removes red's exteriors. So now red's going to make it harder for you to take North America if you remove that. And they do. Because red now needs North America to get cards. Now, I think I'm playing mostly beginners. And when I play mostly beginners, in my opinion, the best strategy is not to piss off the beginner. Um, and that means you basically have to do nothing and play patiently. Because if you do anything that's likely, other than other than be play patiently, you're most likely going to piss off a beginner. And beginners tend to suicide revenge, even if you, you know... Even if you uh, do something moderately offensive to them. Okay, well, it looks like I get a follow up do trade. <laughs> what is going on? Who am I, kilted? <laughs> Okay, so blue breaks me. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Now red's pumping into yellow. This board is going to get spicy. Yellow has five cards. Okay, and red's, red's advancing their position out into North America. This is going to piss everyone off in the board. So yellow has to trade here. Be nice to see it go all into red. Maybe they go around the 32, or they go into South America. So we have a war, ladies and gentlemen. They're going to hit the four. They're going to break them for sure. Hell hath no fury, like a beginner scorned. And they're coming into me, too. Oh, I lose a three stack in this deal. Why would they, why would they even punch me at all? Okay, so they go, yellow goes around the world. It's a crazy escape route. And green faces no breaks whatsoever. Uh, I'm not going to use the do trade. Blue's not open to me. So I guess I just retake. I'm not going to sit in the Middle East yet. I want to see if blue, I want to see how blue behaves. If I just do nothing, if I don't change my guard. Plus I kind of want to leave these avenues open for red to potentially hit yellow back. So we'll just do this. Let's see how we did for cards. We do it. Now, let's see what blue does with that. Did it hit green? So maybe it's green's turn to get smacked? Okay, so. Depending on how much blue brings out. Okay, so they they bring out some. Not enough to kill me. They let me hold. Uh, I think I will risk going for another 10 trade. Uh, there's only one card, two cards. I need a wild card or I need a cavalry. Okay. 
It's amazing that this position still exists in Quebec. <laughs> So yeah, this this is gonna go into, into green. So this board is gonna get juicy. Is Red gonna take North America now? I wouldn't. Because maybe blue turns their attention onto you. Oh, yellow's gonna break me again. Interesting. Yellow's gonna break me while green's getting a plus five. <laughs> and that's a all these players sometimes, man. Yellow does have four cards. They're almost killable. Oh, I, they, I can't get these in North America. Um, yeah, the 16's open. I'll just let yellow break me again. Oh, that's not the right card. So we are stuck on the dude trade, and we're holding five cards. Okay, so that's going to go into green. Knew it. Okay. Oh my god, and how? Okay, if yellow doesn't trade here, I'll kill them. Yeah, okay, so yellow's gonna die now, because they have five cards and four troops. So, I can get rid of a problem. Okay, so green retakes Europe. Now it's too bad I have to trade the dude trade before I kill yellow because I got five cards. Because I can probably work out a better trade. So, sorry yellow, your game ends here. I have to do this. And let's slider it because we do have time. So, go down to three. Always making sure that we have... Not a great roll. I probably should have opened up blue stack there. But... All right. So plus two in the Middle East. Sure. And I don't need Siam or Venezuela. Okay. Whoops. Yeah, no, opening blue stack, actually, there isn't a good idea, because I'm holding five cards, and they, you know, n beginners sometimes do crazy stuff, right? Okay, so blue's gonna hit green again. So this only benefits red now.
I'm not going to take South America. I don't want the attention from blue. And I think that... Putting in seven, that might actually get me some attention from blue. Oof. Unbelievable. These dude traits. I think I open up blue stack here so they can hit red. Or green. I think blue will go for red. I think this goes towards red. Yes! <laughs> I love it. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. <laughs> so green plays very conservatively and I can respect that Just gathering my troops. Blue might punch red through me, which I'm okay with. But yeah, we've got. Yeah, this is fine. I I I I I had a feeling this was gonna happen. So green, blue is the quintessential board blues. Let's see how red reacts to that. Looks like they're just going to retake. Okay, I'm okay with this. All right, we'll trade this. So 
defeats of her continent. I'm going to continue to guard in East Africa. I'm leaving this alone because that, even though it, I'll have the same reinforcements as red and green, the problem is, is the mentality of it for players like blue. Oh, they're going to break me again. Nope. For players like blue, this looks like too much, right? It looks like I have more than I should. I also kind of want red to retake it. Ooh, is green gonna break? No, green won't break. Let's roll this two here. Let's open blue stack. Why not? Get it done. Let's pull these together here. Let's see where that stack goes. Maybe it goes into green. <laughs> Or maybe blue's done. Blue just likes to hit people. Okay, so blue just gets a card and passes. Alright, red putting in 11. Okay, so my next move, I think, is I take South America and, and Middle East, and I sit in the Middle East. Let's try it out. This might be a mistake. But it is what it is. Red has less troops than me. I don't want to get outproduced. See if green has anything to say about it. No, nope, looks like green's okay with me getting a plus five as well. Cool. And I'll trade with green until the cows come home. <laughs> Blue's also got five cards. Never open blue stack. In when I've got this folding on the board. Just notice I'm holding five cards too.
<laughs> now I thought there was going to be more war. I I I, un I underestimated these players. I thought they were going to react to blue. Uh, at least one of them was going to react overreact to blue and and get some smash festing going. Okay, now look, red and I are cool, and I'm down with that. So maybe red isn't a beginner. Maybe red's an intermediate. I'm, I'm I would even give just based on what they just did. I might even give them expert. But based on the fact that I had him as a beginner, I don't remember why. I'm just going to go up to intermediate for red. Okay, five cards. That gives us a big trade. Plus two, North Africa. Do I want Ural, Siberia, Western Australia, or China? I think I want these two. Let's get rid of Western Australia. Let's get rid of China. China. So there's now nothing that blue can actually do to anybody except green. Green's the only one that's vulnerable vul vulnerable to blue. Blue may have quit. So we might be dealing with a big bot here. Yeah, looks like Blue's bot. Yeah, they're officially offline. Okay. So we're down to a three-player game. Now, what, what green's doing, I think, is the wrong strategy. Because when we've got friendly borders with red and I, I think it's time to create a single stack. I think that doing this will hurt you in the long run. Yeah, I can use this. Plus two more poots. Why not? Take the one off of Red's border. I wish alliances were on because I could make an alliance with Red and say, hey, buddy, let's hit green together. Maybe I'll pop a stack, you pop a stack. All right, so the bot will start expanding now. It won't have very far to go. Oof, okay. <laughs> Poor green. <laughs> Poor green. That's almost like blue the blue blue would actually play this. Red's gonna go into Australia. No, they don't. Maybe green goes into Australia. That's what I would do if I was green right now. I think you're gonna get. I think you're gonna get popped. I think if this is a content breaking bot, green, I think you're in in for a bad time. Where do I get my take? Where do I get my take? Okay. I'll get it right here, I think. We'll rely on a 3v1 because I have a backup plan. <clears throat> mm. 
do we have a continent breaking bond? If it doesn't trade. It does trade, okay. We have a continent breaking bot. Green's about to get smacked. Yep. <laughs> Does red break me now? I think it's a good time to break me. Red takes Australia. If green quits, I kill red. Nice. Okay. I'm happy with that. I'm now I don't have to really do anything. And I can also can also get a car a safe card. Oh, the bot might actually break me here. Maybe I risk that happening. I think I risk it. I'll just put a two there. <laughs> just why not? <laughs> I risk it, because maybe the bot just wants to take Europe. We'll see. Or this 34 is glued, right? This 34 could be glued. Where's red getting their tape? Just right there. Just that. Okay, so red. Are they going to point that into green? They are. Oh, this is juicy. That might dissuade. If if green was planning on hitting the bot here, that might, might have changed their plans. Okay, so green's going to go behind red. Get a take. You're gonna break me. Green one, okay. Fair enough. Okay, so green wants South America. Okay, now I have to protect from the bot from coming into Africa. I could also take Australia from red. I don't think the bot's big enough that I have to worry about it. Let's just stay the course. Well, the bot just traded again. Let's see what the bot does. Nope. 
nothing. All those bot stacks are glued to me. This is actually good for me. It's amazing how bots always shake up the game. Now, if, if red hits green, this game's over. Oh my god. <laughs> The game just got handed to me. Okay. Well, I guess I can kill blue as well. What? Why wouldn't you kill green? What? What is? What? What the hell's going on? Okay, so I have enough to kill blue first. Give my human. I don't know. This is this is a crazy game. Well, I'll just throw it out there. Uh, good game. Blue green was a homie to me the whole game, so I'm gonna do them a favor. I'm gonna take out uh, the blue bot first. Uh, then I'll take out green, and then I'll take out red. So. Against my better judgment, I'm doing this. Ooh, bad roll. <laughs> yeah, no, I've t I have plenty of troops for this. fist bump. Red was a homie too, for the most part. There you have it, folks. I was shocked that Red suicided into green because I think green made it pretty obvious that, hey man, let's not fight. I just want to go into South America. I think that was an obvious move, but I guess Red was just kind of like, meh, whatever, bro. Uh, let's just, uh, let's just do this now and get it over with. Luckily for red and green, uh, they left me, I was left with enough troops that I could actually kill the bot comfortably for them, which I was happy to do because they were both homies during the game. Uh, okay. So I said, um, blue beginner. Uh, I said pink beginner. I said green intermediate. I said red intermediate. I said yellow beginner. Let's see how I did. Okay. Green, I said intermediate. They were a master. Okay, wrong for me. Pink, I said beginner. They're novice. Close enough. Blue, I said beginner. I was right. Red, I said intermediate. I was bang on. Yellow, I said beginner. They're intermediate. Okay. Uh, anyone else? No. Okay, that's it. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please smash that like button for me. It helps me out with the algorithm. Uh, consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't done so already. You and I can get better at this game together. Follow me on Twitch, catch me on live, the link's in the description. And until I see you next time, you keep fighting that good fight.